Hi, I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to give you my thoughts on Navitas Parfums Venom of Love. Now this is the collaboration that they did with Paulina Shar. For those of you that don't know who Paulina is, likely all of you know who she is, but if you don't, she has a, an amazing YouTube channel with just fantastic fragrance content. So she partnered up with Navitas uh, to create this beautiful fragrance called Venom of Love. So I want to share my thoughts with you. A lot of you have been asking if you've smelt it, you've weighed in on, in the comments, so I thought I wanted to weigh in too. Uh, so before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, uh, Venom of Love, it's been kind of marketed as, you know, a sexy, sultry, intoxicating, delectable fragrance. And I have to say that overall, that's exactly what you're getting. You're getting a real luscious, decadent fragrance. In Venom of Love. So I'm going to share with you the notes uh, and then I'll kind of share with you my thoughts. Um, also just so that you know I've worn this at least three times like I, I just have a sample of it but I've worn it three times given a really good wear test. I wanted to give you guys uh, my experience with the fragrance not just my first thoughts. So anyway uh, let's talk notes. It's got sour cherry, liquor, and bitter almond in the opening. The middle has chocolate cherry, Turkish rose, and Egyptian jasmine. Then the base has amberwood, almond, vanilla, and whipped cream. Yes! Let's talk about the fragrance. Now the off the cuff as soon as I spray it I get that beautiful boozy cherry. Now to me it's a very very similar cherry. In fact it's almost spot on as far as the note is concerned. In the opening of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, that opening note of that boozy liquor cherry, that is exactly what I get in Venom of Love. It's very similar to Love Fest uh, by Kay Alley. So that boozy, uh, that boozy dark kind of soaked in liquor a uh, sweet kind of syrupy cherry note. The Kay Alley and the Tom Ford both have kind of a very similar note. To me, Venom of Love has that same liquored up cherry. It's one of my favorite notes of all time, so I'm excited that it's in this fragrance. I know that it's similar to Tom Ford's, uh, but honestly, it's such a great note that I would love to smell it in a lot of fragrances. So I'm not about mad about that at all. But just as strong as the liquor cherry in the opening, I get the chocolate and it just smells so deliciously decadent. Like the chocolate paired with that cherry, it smells so good. And it's not like a waxy chocolate. It smells like kind of a deeper kind of luscious chocolate. So the pairing of the two just smells absolutely incredible. Like I just love that chocolate combined with the cherries. Just so, so decadent and delicious. Now I find that that cherry note and the chocolate definitely overpowers any sort of almond that I'm getting, but the almond kind of allows for a little bit of roundness. So it's not just two sharp notes, uh, but there's this a little bit of smoothness there because of that uh, almond that's in there. Now I don't notice any of the rose, I don't notice any of the jasmine. So for me, like this is marketed as a fruity floral gourmand. To me it's more of a fruity gourmand. Uh, I don't notice that floral at all. And to be honest, I'm not getting a whole lot of the base notes either. So I don't find that over time the almond comes out more. Um, I would say I get maybe a little bit more vanilla. I don't really notice the whipped cream. What I primarily get as it dries down is the top note. So I'm getting that liquor cherry more than anything else. Uh, I wish that the chocolate stayed around longer because it's so amazing and I just love the combination of those two notes. But as it dries down, I get more of that top note kind of Tom Ford-esque cherry vibe, which again is really delicious. And that's kind of where it stays for me. In the deep dry down, I get a little more of that vanilla almond combination. Uh, the, t the cherry kind of backs off, the liquor kind of dissipates a bit and you're left with kind of that, that cherry with a little bit of softness from that almond and vanilla. So overall, it stays really gorgeous the whole entire time. The key is, is that you have to love that uh, that boozy cherry opening because that's primarily what you're going to experience. 
Um, it lasts a decent amount of time. I don't feel like it's beast mode, uh, but I got like, you know, I get about five hours of really great projection and then it kind of dissipates from there. It, it's, it sits closer to the skin after about five hours. Overall, when I think about the three fragrances that kind of fit the same genre, there would be uh, Venom of Love, uh, there's Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, there's Kay Alley's Love Fest Burning Cherry. Now Burning Cherry is pretty cool because it's got that little bit of fire, burning fire feel, but honestly I love the chocolate in, in this one more than I love the Burning Cherry, although that's nice too. I love the chocolate more than I like the Tom Ford one, and I'm still getting satiated by that same kind of boozy cherry feel. So if I had to choose between the three of them, I would actually choose Venom of Love. So overall, I just think it's a fantastic fragrance. Really, really impressed. Great job, Paulita. Great job, Navitas. Really, really great fragrance. And even thinking value for money, I know it's more expensive than the K Alley, but I find that this is to be, this is longer lasting and significantly longer in my opinion than Lost Cherry. So value for money, even though this is a relatively pricey fragrance, I just think it's a great option. So if you love, uh, if you love chocolate, if you love that top note of uh, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, this is a fantastic, um, a fantastic fragrance. Definitely fits that sultry, sexy, decadent, gourmand, date night intoxicating type fragrance. It's just, it, it, it's beautiful. And really, it would be such a great fragrance for the Christmas time too, especially with that chocolate note. My only complaint is that that chocolate just doesn't stay around long enough. So it sticks I can smell it for about an hour and then it starts to dissipate and I wished it stayed the whole entire time uh, of that fragrance because that chocolate added with the cherry just really makes it fantastic. So way to go Paulina, fantastic fragrance, congratulations. Uh, and yeah, I just think it would make such a gorgeous like Christmas Eve fragrance, it would be perfect. So anyway, that's my thoughts. What about you? If you've tried it, weigh in, let us know what you think in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.